Hello everyone, my name is Guillermo with Florida Powerhouse. I'm here to talk to you today about the seven most common failures found in emergency standby generators. The uh, first and most prevalent failure is the battery. 80% of our emergency calls are battery related. Get that battery changed. We recommend you change that battery every two years to prevent a failure on your machine. The second most common failure is a coolant leak. Check that radiator cap, make sure it's on tight. All right, when you guys are checking out your machines, make sure you top off that, uh, that radiator, the reservoir, okay? Your third most common failure is a coolant sensor failure, a high temp, a low coolant. Now, these failures can occur by a sensor being defective, be a belt, a fan, water pump, etc. Your fourth most common failure is an oil leak. You got an oil leak, or you ran your machine, it burned off some oil, now you're low on oil, the generator doesn't run because of low oil pressure. Or a fuel leak. If you got a diesel unit, you gotta make sure that those diesel, those diesel fuel lines are checked and replaced as soon as you see some cracking in them. You get air in the system, that's the death of a diesel engine. The uh, fifth and, uh, by the way, a funny one, is the uh, generator being left on the off position. Guys, if you want the generator to work, you gotta have it on auto. It's simple, okay? Your, um, your sixth uh, most common failure is no fuel. Believe it or not, this does happen. We get called out, customer says you were just here, and the fuel tank is at zero, okay? Or your diesel fuel is at zero. Guys, top off your, uh, your propane tank as soon as the, uh, as soon as the season starts, whether it be the winter season for you northerners or the hurricane season for us southerners. Um, the uh, seventh and final uh, most common failure is an RPM sensor failure, also known as the mag pickup. That, uh, that failure, basically, what, what, that, what happens with that is there is a sensor that uh, detects the rotation of the engine through the flywheel. So if the controller doesn't see that signal, it's not gonna start the engine. It won't even produce spark. Okay, well guys, that's, uh, that wraps it up for the seven most common failures on uh, residential emergency standby power. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please give us a call at 305-256-0241. If you're experiencing any of these issues or you'd like to see a different type of video, give us some ideas. We'll be more than happy to, uh, to, uh, to, to do one of these videos for you guys. Thank you.